This is Mouse Jones with BT Social. Got my man Kyle in here, and I just pulled up. Uh, oh, oh, Millie, my bad. sturdy. Sorry. No, it's Sorry. all good. Forget I'm my name. You got a sturdy. <laughs> Listen. I'm trying to get my, my Millie rock Listen, more sturdy. Listen, I'm from New York. I understand if you won't dat me to make sure your Millie is sturdy. Exactly, I right? appreciate that. All right, Don, thank you. That's, you know, and, that's and if like you, if I'm in L.A. and you come to see me, give me a dap, and I'm hitting this move right here. Yeah, this I'm shit. like, let me get my local. Yo, all people in L.A. just dance like this. I like, that's how you can <laughs> spot an L.A. dude if he's just in the circle dancing by himself doing this. I had no idea what I was doing either. I was in the spot just doing this, and everybody was just... Hyping me up, so I thought I was doing the right thing. So, first off, what the hell is Kyle Day, and how are we celebrating this? Okay, so in where I'm from, right. Ventura, California, uh, the 805, the whole county actually. It's not True. just the city of Ventura. It's Shout the out whole to county, the whole by the way. 805, the whole county. The whole 805. Uh, April 29th is Super Duper Kyle Day, and I was doing my show mm. in Ventura, and okay. then um, the uh, Mambo came out. And yeah. presented me with like you know a certificate that right. the the county of Ventura said like April 29th from here on out is going to be considered Super Duper Kyle Day and how you celebrate that right. um, I just told people like you know on Super Duper Kyle Day if you can celebrate it on behalf of me just go out there and help somebody out mm. you know what I'm saying make somebody's day better you know because I right. say like as it being Super Duper Kyle Day all of us are superheroes. Because we all have the power to just better somebody's day. So that's how you celebrate it. Right. You just got to go out there and do something nice for somebody. Now, how do you do that L.A. when all, everybody real tough? This L.A. ass. Oh, how you do that real, out there? Like, how you do you it? Because the they be part. tough. So how you compliment them? <laughs> Because I'd be scared. They'd be yeah. like, here yeah, with it. Now, you know what? Everybody in L.A. is got a super tough... I mean, you say L.A. People in New York got some tough ass exteriors. But every, we are talking about L.A. right yeah, now. Yeah, right. but everybody in L.A., you know what? You just got to be you just gotta be real. And they might look like extra tough, but right. if you say something nice to me, I'll be like, yeah, you know what, bro? Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know my stance is right. <laughs> like, you know, hey, thanks. Hey, right cut, there, hey, right cut. there. You hey. know what I'm saying? Thanks for the... You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Now, you know you're from L.A. if you guys yeah, can't see this, <laughs> but if you can stand Wait, can like this. Get, can, can we see the light? Yo. <laughs> yo, this officially means you're from L.A. The more you can do it, too. Like, this is natural. This shit don't even hurt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be so real. Like, if you can do this, you're good. This means you're really from L.A. If you ever see somebody standing like this, they, right they got to be a cripper of blood. Like, or or you, you should call uh, Exorcist. Or Exorcist, yeah. yeah something, you something's going like, on there. Bro, it's so easy. Like in LA, it's all about the walk up too. Right, it's all right. about the. Hey, you hey, feel me? Okay, long, long glide. Long <laughs> Y'all you know I mean long steps. Like. <laughs> all right, yeah. so five eighteen. Five eighteen, baby. Light of mine. Light of mine. You gonna spread some light? Yes. Now the record with you and Khalid. I mm -hmm. heard you say that it's called uh, "I Miss Me." I miss me. Yeah. Heard you say that you wake up every day and you listen to that. Why Straight is that up. record so important? Man, so you, you know what? To me specifically, when I hear that song, I'm like, um. It's almost like, one. Of, it's one of those songs that I feel like I've been waiting to make my entire life. You feel mm. I me? Mean? One of those songs that I really feel like has this like undeniable energy that no matter where you at or what type of situation you're in, you're going to play that and you're going to feel better. You feel me? And on top of it, just like the message of it too, I feel like relates to a lot of people. Um, it's just, you know, it's called I Miss Me and it's talking about, you know, uh, somebody who feels like they, they, um, they've lost touch with themselves. Right. You feel me? And throughout all the other relationships they're trying to maintain. And it's talking about getting back to loving, you know, the, the most important friend. Which is yourself. Yourself. And, uh, yeah, I feel like that message is really important to a lot of people who, you know, who are maybe going through a hard time or losing touch with that. So how do you, how do you specifically, or how do you specifically stay so positive right now where it's like all your contemporaries and your peers or a lot of them yeah. are leaning into the fact that they are dealing with mental health, dealing with depression yeah. and not the happy side of it. Yeah. No, nah, that's why I'm, you know, I try to just relate to them and be yeah. like, yo, I feel you too. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel exactly what y'all feel. Like, you know, times are hard right now. It's a weird, dark time. Like, and I feel how people, you know, can like be in such a harsh place. I think, that, like I said, I think it's all about how you deal with it. Right. You know, a lot of people will turn to, like, whether it's drugs or, like, you know, just substance abuse. Or, like, a lot of people will turn to just, like, trying to find somebody to vent their anger on. And both are ways that you're going to, you know, subdue your sadness for a short, short amount of time. Mm. But how I deal with it is just trying to, like, keep myself in a positive mindset. Remind myself, you know, why I'm blessed. 
remind myself all the good things I do have going for me, remind myself that it could be a lot worse. You feel me? All you got to do is watch a couple documentaries. You will see shit could be a lot worse. And it is for other people. Absolutely. And it's like when you remind yourself of all that stuff, it's like how can you not smile? You feel me? How can you not be in a good mood? So, take a little different. Take a little different. Switch. (laughs) Switch. We're, we're like, we out. We're not pulling up. We're just like pulling over. Right, no, but yeah. um, so I know your your, your close friend with Chance the Rapper. Yeah. And last week was kind of rough. Um, you know, seeing all the you know public scrutiny yeah. he had to go through, and you just this y'all close, closing out. Your, yeah. Your Coachella. Look how epic. Look how epic we is. Look. That this was your first time, right? That was my first Coachella. And yeah. then you get to you get to share with your friend. And bro, you know what, dog? That's my real bro. That's my right. real brother. Cause it's like. No, even when, like, no matter what, like, when he says he's going to do something for me, right. like, he always comes through. Right. Out, out of today's crop, he's my favorite. Yeah. He's so, so you guys having that bond, having that close connection, yeah. how rough was it to watch, you know, the scrutiny he went through for just, like, defending his friend last week? Yeah. I mean, you know what? I feel like as long as somebody's, like, down to voice their opinion and they're right. not afraid of doing it, like, the scrutiny does not matter. Like. Mm. Internet scrutiny, it does not matter. If there's anything that is fickle as hell, it's right. internet scrutiny. It's like, it's not, it's not, I, I don't think it's that, like, uh, not important, but right. I just don't think it's that um, detrimental right. to somebody. You know what I mean? So here you go. This is the deepest, yeah. this is the toughest, this is the most hard hitting question Hit I've me. got. All right? Hit so just <sighs> take this in. All right, get ready. I know you're in the Pokemon almost as heavy as I am. In that, right? In us yeah. being two young Pokemon masters. Yeah. If rap was Pokemon, yeah. I'm gonna ask you this. Which Pokemon would I be? No. Okay. Forget okay, you. Okay, okay. You're the trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Pikachu in who's rap? Pikachu? Who's yeah. Pikachu? Who's Charmander? Who's Bulbasaur? <laughs> yeah. And who's Squirtle? Wow. In rap wow. right now. This is really an epic question because it has so much to do. I have to like combine like Pokemon elements with like, <laughs> with like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Damn, this is so hard. I'm trying to equate it. I'm trying to match it up to like who got the, you know what I mean? Right. Um, who's like water? Who's like water? Who's like water? Who got just the like, you know what I'm I mean? I'm going to say, to me, flow. Chance is Squirtle. Chance is Squirtle? To you me, think Chance he's like water? Is Squirtle. I was thinking Chance is more like Pikachu. Because mm. I feel like his music is just hella, you know what I'm saying, electric. And him as a but performer is electric. But I feel like he, just he could go anywhere. He can't flow. You know what? Drake is more, Drake is Squirtle. Drake is Squirtle. Drake is Squirtle, because he can bounce from this to that. So we got that. Drake is Squirtle. Chance, Chance is Pikachu. Pikachu. So now we need Charmander and Bulbasaur. I'm going to say. Travis Scott is probably Charmander. Mm, you know what I mean? That's a strong it's, one. It's such a, it's all okay. just so, like fire. You feel me? And last but not least, and Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is for sure a scissor. Can I put her in this too, even though she sure. was singing? She's gonna, she's, yeah. she's gonna be beefing with you because nobody wanted to be Bulbasaur growing up. Oh, you don't think Bulbasaur so? was the last. No one ever Why? picked Bulbasaur. <laughs> you always, Bulbasaur you always traded for them. Like, yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, I'll take him. I'll, <laughs> I'll take him for <laughs> sure. I'll trade him after. So nah, now they go because you know what I mean. I feel like her music is just like it's. And she and that's my friend. And she's, it's so, she's so down to earth. Nah, but yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, and uh, yeah, I don't know. She's just more like Bulbasaur. So we it's got like earthy. So we got Travis Scott as Charmander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sizz as Bulbasaur. Sorry. Drake as Squirtle. Squirtle Chance and Chance as Pikachu. Pikachu. Phone. And then here go the biggest question: Who okay. would you pick for uh, my to start own Pokemon? Who would you start Damn. your journey with? Damn. Uh, Honestly, as a Pokemon lover, you gotta you gotta do Pikachu. You gotta bring mm. Pikachu. You feel me? You gotta bring Pikachu. That's the staple one. Well, Kyle, I appreciate you coming out. Hey, man, Five eighteen too, bro. Five eighteen. Light of mind. Five eighteen. Light of mind. That's my album release day and my birthday. So oh, you it's your birthday. It is. So if you don't get that, I'm gonna be deeply offended. So <laughs> five eighteen. Okay. This is Mouse Jones for BT Social with Kyle. He just pulled up. I pulled up. Skr-skr.